Hello everybody, this is MRG Mapping, and we are back on Mercer County. Um, it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video. Um, I've been really busy working on uh, Marksville, Wisconsin, getting that ready for a Let's Play series, and also uh, I've been really enjoying streaming and, and talking to uh, my subscribers and followers and hanging out with you guys. Um, that's been a lot of fun. Um, finally found a map, I think. We ran into a couple problems today, but I finally found a map uh, that we can do a uh, consistent let's play for uh, for my live streams. But we're staying strong on Mercer County right now. Um, while uh, I didn't completely abandon this map, I am uh, still working on it. Um, so, oop, I can't run fast. Keep forgetting about that. While uh, I wasn't recording off video, I decided to take the liberty of filling all of this water up. Some of you came up with some good suggestions in using animal extension. Um, I gotta increase the time scale here. Um, using a, yeah, so it's, it was like 8 o'clock or something like that when we left off last episode, so it's been like an hour or so of real time uh, play time uh, trying to get these water things filled and everything. Oh, hello. Um, get the water troughs filled. Um, what else did I do? I filled up the straw. I went ahead and fed a little bit of the cows. Um, and we are currently at, let's see here. And hopefully my sounds are, are good so you guys can hear me, hear me well. Okay, so our cleanliness is down on that barn. That's the one we kind of constantly had to clean out the manure from. Um, and our cleanliness is all right on this one, but there is a, a big pile of manure uh, at the moment. So, it's actually a lot more manure in this one than that one. That's very strange that this is this is lower in cleanliness. Um, so what we need to do today is definitely get those barns cleaned out. Um, what was I saying before? Oh yes, so we were going to use animal extension, but the faucet, you can adjust the, uh, let's see, like the pipe that comes out of the ground, but the faucet, it like sits right here and then it pours water all over the ground and not actually into the trough. I didn't really design the, the map to work with that mod, but now I know for future reference hello <laughs> spoken it set out um, so I'm not gonna use that I'm just gonna feed them water off off uh, video and figure that out on my own so you guys don't have to be sit there and be bored watching me going back and forth back and forth filling them with water so our cows are not productive right now now I know with seasons in the autumn and winter that they, they have a lower production of milk I didn't know it was non-existent although like this is the first time I've had all their numbers really high um, so I'm not sure if I, this all needs to be green in order for them to be producing, producing milk or not. Um, but it's kind of sad that they're not producing milk. If they don't produce, um, we are going to switch to beef and we're going to sell off the sell off our cattle here. And we're just going to switch to beef. So it's a lot less work. Um, what else did I do? Oh yeah, off video I decided to um, organize the farm <clears throat> because everything was in the way. Last video was terrible. Like there were things just in the way everywhere. Um, so I think, uh, I think I did a good job organizing. I put, I moved the Heston back here and the water trailer back here into this barn because they fit. <clears throat> I took the rake out. I feel like, if I, I figured the rake could sit outside for now. I don't know how, if you guys, you probably don't like equipment like that sit out during the winter. Um, but there's more, more room in that barn now. We got the, uh, the feed, tra uh, feed mixer where it's always, where it always is. Um... I moved a lot of stuff out here that I felt kind of belonged over here. All right, so the chisel, the uh, the tether. I don't know if the if I'm supposed to be putting the tether in the barn. You guys, let me know on that one. Uh, the spreader and uh, the uh, cultivator, and then we have over here the 766 is parked back here, and I think I dropped the gravity wagons off over here and uh, moved the cow trailer back a little bit. Uh, we'll get. This We'll just leave the 76 here for the for a moment. Oh, that's loud as hell. Jesus. Um, so, one thing that we need that I've kind of been looking at is we need a new tractor. Uh, we ran into a lot of problems during harvest where we like we just needed one extra tractor to do things because everything was hooked up to everything, and so we just uh, it would be much better next season if we have another tractor in our lineup in our fleet that's hooked up to something else so that we don't have to constantly be using manual attach and unhooking everything okay and another thing i think we should look at is a new spreader uh... we have this new holland 145 um, it's just a little too small 
Um, it's taking two. It, I would like to get everything. Take less trips to the field. You know, so um, we're gonna we're gonna break out the spreader right now, actually. Um, but I just would like a, a larger spreader, and I think having a a larger tractor to do that would be really helpful. Um, so we're gonna let's see. I didn't really get the machine shed organized yet. That's kind of on the on the list. Um, not in, none of this really fits in any other barn. Um, so we kind of get this kind of get this re reorganized. I'm not sure where to put the headers. They don't really fit in here, and it's probably going to be the case where I just need to put the headers, tuck the headers away since we just got done with harvest. Uh, tuck the headers away in the corner and the combine, and then and then put everything back in the barn. So I'll I'll think about that. That's probably what I'm going to need need to do. But um, what else? Oh yeah, we are going to switch. We're going to switch to six days a season when the spring hits. Uh, and I think I'll do three days for winter. Um, I think that that sounds a little reasonable because there's not as much to do in the winter. Um, not as much to do in the winter. Uh, but I need more time. Obviously, we didn't even get to do fall tillage. Partly my mistake, not doing fall tillage in time. Should have hired a worker on that, but I think uh, I kind of want to do a lot of the tillage work anyways. I want to do a lot of the work instead of hiring somebody to do it and paying. We only have 81,000. I don't want to burn that up, burn through that. So, that is another. We're, we got to consider bigger tillage equipment too. We can soup up the 9310. So, I'll show you guys what I'm looking at for uh, for an upgrade here. I'm looking at, I got a lot of mods, jeepers. Um, not as much as you guys though. Uh, we're looking at a uh, 8900, okay? Uh, this, I, I, I'm thinking about putting duels on this, using it as the planting tractor, using it as kind of a higher horsepower, like let's see, 100, 185, somewhere around there, horsepower. Um, let's see here, it goes up to 250. I don't, I don't think we need that because we got the 9310. Uh, 188. There we go. 188 horsepower. That's gonna leave me room to buy a Kinsey 12 row planner when we get to that stage. I think that's what I'm gonna do, and maybe a, a larger uh, uh, drill. Um, we'll see about that. We might we might sell and exchange some equipment and do a little uh, do a little finance. Do, do some tricks with our finance and our money to. Uh, make that a possibility. So we got to uh, get the manure out of these barns. Did I park this in a good spot? This isn't really easy to turn around, is it? I should pull it, uh, actually, I should pull it forward a little bit. Um, I'm kind of scatterbrained right now because my, uh, it's, it's late at night I'm recording right now. I actually have an idea. No, I didn't want to get into that. I want to get into this tractor. I to get on this side. I have some ideas for more YouTube videos. I want to do like a weekly like mod update where I'm at with my maps. I've got so many projects I'm working on. I think it would be fun to, to keep track of that through a video. <clears throat> like a Monday mod update or something like that. <clears throat> so I can uh, release that tomorrow. Put something together tomorrow. I'm planning on live streaming much more often. Hopefully, for an hour or two a day. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, you guys will have to let me know what, how you feel about uh, that 8900. <clears throat> if you think that's a good choice. I know that uh, that 12, 12 row Kinsey planner would be a nice addition to the farm. Um, and. Uh, it give it speed up our operation a lot more, speed up the planting season. We'll see how that goes. Um, I don't think it'll be too bad. Uh, I think we have a decent sized planter. Wouldn't be too much of an upgrade. I just want that Kinsey planter. It's so nice. Allows us to do a lot more extensions on the uh, seed boxes and whatnot. Um, but honestly, like I think. Uh, 
I think it's it's the manure spreader and uh, the uh, and an additional tractor that are kind of the choke points at the moment. I do want to exchange the grain cart for an unverfirth. Now that I know I got a working unverfirth uh, auger wagon. still don't know how I'm going to fill up on seed for next season, so I might need a trailer for that. It's very, it's just going to, it's messy, I tell you. And a pallet fork. Oh, joy. So yeah, there's a lot of, oh, still. So yeah, I'm using the, uh, my, my camera's always tilted a little bit to the left, because that's how I'm using the, uh, the bucket. I'm using the mouse controls. That's a real life version, is that I, I need a, like that side panel. And a steering wheel, but. It'd be nicer to have, have joysticks like the skid loader. For skid loading. What else was I going to say? We haven't figured out the, uh, the food trough issue. I tried fixing it. I do, do not know. I think it, the reason why it's not working is because I don't own the land. So there must be a couple pixels on that road or near the food trough that where I can't scoop up the food that's sitting outside. A couple pixels of farmland that weren't painted in. I hate the farmland uh, error. I think it's a nonsensical error because uh, it doesn't, doesn't really need to exist, I guess. Oh, is it full? It kind of looks full. I know I was driving some of you crazy with my messy yard, so we got that all cleared up. I'm gonna go spread this on the soybeans. Yeah, it's the first day of winter, and it's a it's a pretty nice day. Pretty nice day of winter. Not too bad. I know sometimes in Minnesota we we'll get nice nice days in winter, nice warm days, and then it'll be uh, a complete blizzard the next week. Okay, so I want to check the fertilizer state. Okay, so we want to let's move up the field here. God, those are horrible strips of fertilizer, but it's probably what it would look like in real life. I really need to find where it's fertilized here. Am I going to be able to see? Probably not. That's all right. We'll we'll try to estimate here. We uh, go over a row. This. Kind of skip a row here. Start out. Can't really see. Just pretend the uh, autumn rain kind of washed it away a little bit and integrated it into the soil. Oopsies. There we go. That's good. The soil is frozen. You can't work on it. Really? Oh my god. I, th I didn't know that. Can I, can I dump here? That would be actually super helpful. No. How am I going to keep these guys clean? I might have to just take the skid loader and dump it on the field? Man, this is my first time playing in, in uh, late autumn and winter with seasons, so you'll have to forgive me. Um, I honestly did not know that you couldn't I want to let's go this way I didn't I didn't know you couldn't spread because in Minnesota we spread, spread manure in the winter like that and that's what you got to do the ground is frozen that doesn't matter <laughs> it's actually good if the ground is frozen all right well we got a full trailer of fertilizer there so Let's look at my options here. I'm gonna park this. Let's park this right here. So can I? Oh, I, I just sprinted. My bad. Dump this onto the field over here. Because that might just be better. 
Oh, there we go. Might be a little smelly, but it's better than uh, it's sitting in the yard right next to the house, right? It's gonna be smelly either way. Oh, I'm very excited to uh, do a uh, just a, like a grain operation, a row crop farm, crop production farm um, on Cortland when I get that far enough along. That'll be a fun let's play. Using much larger equipment on that. I got Bedford County converted and I'm working on that too. That's a kind of a larger dairy operation on that map based off of Simon Family Dairy Farms. Which is a 164th uh, toy, farm toy display. Uh, it was made by CWJ108. I hope someday I can get in contact with him and ask him for permission to finish that map. It's such a great, was such a great map. It never really got finished in FS17. He was the uh, creator of Autumn Mokes, actually, for those of you who don't already know. I uh, looked up to him big time. And I still kind of do as a mapper. Um, I hope I can get to his level of... Because he, he got to the point where he was starting to model his own stuff, and that's what I want to learn how to model. That would be super fun. Also, shout out to you, uh, to the patrons, helping helping to uh, work out the kinks on Marksville right now, but also having fun on the uh, multiplayer stream, multiplayer server. I haven't gotten to stream with you guys yet. I hope hopefully get the chance sometime this week. That would be really nice just to take a break. Um, when we get Marksville, Marksville's getting very very close to being finished. But when I get that finished, like that's we're gonna switch over. I do let's plays on that. We'll still keep doing Mercer County, but we're gonna do this like twice a week and then Marksville twice a week. I don't know how much you guys like like this daily having to do daily tasks like this. As I know it can get a little redundant. We're, we're scooping manure again, but we're we're dumping it in the field this time, but uh Hey, let me know if you guys want me to do like a whole bunch of different things, or if you really want me to stick to the realism part of this, because I can definitely do that. Let's see, how oh, is this supposed to be louder? Yeah, make it a little bit louder, I think. Yeah, it's probably way louder outside of this thing, huh? But in this Let's Play, we're like in the cab all the time. If I, ah oh man, this this would be not fun scooping if I were like in the other animal pen. I feel like uh, I would need a trailer for that. So maybe I could get a small trailer to uh, haul some manure dump it on the field. Not the most fun tasks in farm sim, <coughs> hauling manure. It's fun to do every so often, but uh, when you're working with tight spaces like I do, it's not that, that fun. And using, you know, a small bucket fulls of manure, a small bucket to haul manure. Okay. Let's close that up. I'm really glad that we got that cleaned up. Does it show immediately? Probably not. Alright, now we gotta go clean out the other pen. I thought we were gonna be hauling manure to the field this entire stream, but it turns out we're, well, we, <laughs> we are hauling manure to the field, but in a, not the way that I thought we would be. So what do you guys got going on in here? This game, this, uh, this wall is a little too low. 
I've been noticing that. It's kind of bugging me how the concrete wall needs to be another foot or two higher. Alright. Just pretend like someone's managing the gates for me. I should probably be closing them, shouldn't I? go. Kind of a nice big pile going on here. This is why we're going to do three days in winter, because I am not going to do this every day. That is so much work. Cleaning the manure out without having... I mean, that or, like, we're going to get a trailer, for sure. So. We, uh, we had a Let's Play today on El Cater, and running into issues trying to spray. Turn out the easy developer tools it was causing me issues, so it was about an hour where everyone just watched me fumble around trying to fix a map. That was that was fun. <laughs> but uh, we're running all uh, Agco white white equipment actually on that. So that should be pretty fun. Small little dairy operation on that map. little dairy farm smaller than this actually if you can believe it I think we might just uh, well we haven't bought any cattle yet so maybe we'll just run beef because it's mainly beef around that area but every time I play that map I'm just like getting an itch to redo it to remake that map and make it even better than it already is it can be way better I know it's a lot of people's favorites but I can do a lot, but I've, come, I've progressed quite far as a map maker. And a lot of it is due to your guys' support. You know, it really it motivates me, but also like seeing people play on my maps and like upload pictures on uh, the various Facebook groups and play it on, play the maps on, on YouTube, doing Let's Plays. That makes me pretty happy and uh, makes me want to make more maps. I'm hoping Marksville uh, winds up as good as uh, I hyped it up to be. I think I think it is my best map, but you know, some people don't like the uh, don't like small farming and uh, won't be able to put up with the roads or the small fields. And using you know, probably use big equipment, I imagine. That's what. Uh, Part of the reason why I'm working on the 4X is so that uh, people have a larger map to play on. But that still has one dairy farm on it, and then a whole bunch of beef cattle operations that do row crop and beef on the side. This is going to be a doozy. You know what? This is going to be, we could probably spread right on this field. It'd be super easy. Could just uh, pull up right next to that pile, load up, and go. We should look at corn and soybean prices. See if we need to make a run. Right, 81,000, please get out of the way. So, I should look into what a new manure spreader will cost. I'm more keen on the tractor, but that's 187,000. We would need we would need to take a loan. We need to take a loan and probably sell some of our crops, not all of them. I want to save some of them for like when it's when we got a better better prices. I know in seasons the better prices comes towards what spring. That one uh, should say it in here, shouldn't it? Uh, right here, there. So for corn, yeah, it's not as good right now. Yeah, we'll sell corn tomorrow then. But in the middle of summer, geez. Okay. Wait, what's, what soybeans look like? Is it similar? Yeah, middle of summer. So soybeans, we'll wait. We'll wait to sell those. 
because uh, we don't have as many soybeans. Got a lot more corn. Let's sell off our corn at the moment. Maybe get 40000 off of that and then take a $70,000 loan. Maybe less than that. I don't know. Depends on how much we make on the corn. And uh, we purchased that new tractor. We also need enough for seed. We also need a trailer for the seed to pick it up. So <laughs> we could. We, there's actually an old, old seed truck that we could purchase. I think it works. Let's see here. Yeah, the C70. Um, for haul and seed, and this would be fitting for our operation. So I think we'll look into that. That's kind of cheap. So we need that. We need, uh, we'll need a we'll need liquid fertilizer. That one I can buy a small trailer for, for the, that the truck can haul. Just more clutter on the farm. Just what we need, right? We can put that other truck in the shed and the fertilizer tank. Liquid fert tank. In uh, the barn that we just cleaned out space for. Hopefully the rake uh, doesn't rust over the winter. Okay, how much more do we got? Not too much. There we go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Trying to clean, trying to clean up after you guys here. And you guys are resisting. Stop resisting. You having to close, open and close this gate. As a kid, this would be my job for my uncle. When I was too young to do anything, this was like uh, opening the gate, opening and closing the gate was my job. It was a fun job. So I wasn't, I wasn't too mad. How high can we make this pile? Okay, one last trip. And we are good. Then I'll uh, spend some, a little more, more time cleaning up the machine shed, rearranging things. And then uh, looks like we'll uh, we'll be good for the day. I mean, we might have to feed one more time. And oh my god, wait! I just cleaned this. There's no end in sight, is there? You guys just keep producing manure, don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I took away your hill to play on. Sorry. Okay. Put all this out here. So the first thing next spring that we're going to do is we are going to spread manure. Then we will chisel it in to this field at least. And, uh, you know, we'll spread some on the soybeans as well, because no doubt we're going to have more manure to pick up tomorrow. At this rate, they produce more manure in the winter, so that's why we're, uh, we're having, to, having to clean out the manure a lot more. But I'll try to do some off of the video, so you guys don't have to suffer through that. should put the skid loader. Can we tuck it underneath here? I don't think I'm going to fit in on that side. That barn's pretty pretty tight at the moment. We can get the moco into the machine shed if I do some rearranging. And uh, I'm going to have a lot more bales in that barn over there, but we have some space in there that uh, some nooks and crannies we can tuck things into. So I'm going to put this here. i got to put that other tractor away. That close this door. I know that other door is not going to close because we got the auger in the way. But that's just me having to rearrange the machine shed. Get that rearranged. It's a lot, definitely a lot easier to navigate now that we got everything tucked away. Um, do I need to hook this up to anything? 
I'm thinking. I don't think I need this at the moment. See, that's the thing. Like, we don't need a new tractor right now. But when we hit the fall and we got this thing on the auger, we got the 9310 on tillage. It needs another tractor running gravity wagons. It's just, it's gonna, we need it. We need that other tractor. We got like a, a loft up there too that I can, eh, can't really get bales up there, can I? I need to open up that door. So, okay, that is it for this episode. Thank you guys so much. Uh, if you guys liked this uh, video, feel free to subscribe and like and do all that nice stuff. Comment uh, on what you think about uh, our uh, expanding our fleet and what do you guys what do you think uh, we should buy next uh, with our with our money. So uh, that would be super helpful. You guys have been awesome with the comments and and helping uh, in giving me advice and everything. So thank you very much. I appreciate that and I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Uh, feel free to stop by my live streams. I tip, I'm going to start live streaming uh, from like 11 Pacific time to like 1 o'clock Pacific time. I don't remember what that is, Eastern time. So yeah, feel free to f feel free to drop by and, uh, and hang out. It's a really chill group, and it's been a lot of fun. So, okay, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.